Hello. Welcome back for more Melon Journey Bittersweet Memories. We last left off with going to the resort over in Mulberry with our friend who I forget the name of. He's a dog. I don't remember his name, but that's what we're doing. We went over to the resort because I think I kind of ran out of things to do in Hamtown or whatever it's called. So we're going to get a little further today, probably play another half hour or so of this and see where, what we get up to, see what happens. My cat's going to try and come on my desk like every three minutes because he is a needy little guy. And I love him, but he needs to stay off my desk. I streamed today. And uh, he literally got on my desk and laid down in front of my monitor. It's very nice of him. But that's not what's important right now. What's important right now is we're going to play some Melon Journey and get a little further. So, let's play. I'm still a little under the weather, so we are definitely going to keep this down to like a 30 minute segment just to not die. That would be cool. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Stacks of gummy life preservers bite to your heart's content, but you might end up drowning. Yahoo! Time to spin! Too bad our buddy Roland couldn't make it. Man, he's such a baby. We never have any fun with him around anyway. Nothing else to do but start spinning. That looks fun! I'm gonna go up. Ooh! Ew, that guy on the lookout is totally looking this way. What a creep. He must be looking at me, since there's no way he'd want to look at you. Rude, oh, but okay. Most people would put on a bathing suit before getting into a pool, but you just go for it. Wait, I, I pressed A too quick. Wow. Okay, all I missed was the word wow. Ahoy, matey, welcome to the newest and most sweltering... Swelteringly, swelteringly, swelteringly coolest island destination lying centrally between the musk melon seeds. Yes, it is I, gracing your presence before you. Mulberry the goldfish, wanderer of the seas, defender of the guppies, challenger of the eels. With my newly acquired business license, I've decided to expand onto real estate. Take a look around and don't forget to check out our world class views. I learned recently that scientists don't have any idea how electric eels don't electrocute themselves. That's an interesting fact. Z o z z z z z z z z. Guy likes oats. Can can't blame him. Excuse me, you're blocking the light. I'm trying to take a picture to post to in on Instaham. Instaham. That was a thing. Tired that was a meme. That's an old with meme. A vintage color spectrum. Starting to think that life might look better with a vague pinkish hue. Well, now you can. With one Insta hog hand. island iced tea coming right up, huh? You don't have any money? This ain't a charity, you know. Sip, sip, sip. Yuck. Artificial melon beer tastes more like mildew than melon. Sip, sip. Got. Gotta get my money's worth. Choose a different drink. Sakura Blue, how could this happen to moi? I am Hamstar, the one and only. You cannot do this to Hamstar. Ah, We ruined his career and now he's drinking at the bar. Sucks for him. Ooh, what are you doing, kid? Huh? Spying on hot chicks? Would I do something so perverse? I was just looking at the Kitten King's castle, that's all. Look through the binoculars and see for yourself. Hmm? 
What are you doing? Susan Ham! As I watched the sun set, I had a lot on my mind. Am I getting any closer to finding Cantaloupe? I wondered. I knew that Richard Ham, whoever he was, was somehow involved. And at that moment, following Susan Ham was my only lead. Oh, it's nighttime. These binoculars cost 25 cents to use, but someone stuck a piece of gum in the coin slot. And now it's night all of a sudden. Oh, and the pool's closed. Can you believe this ham star, star ham guy thinks he can stay after hours just because he's Mr. Big Shot? Ha. Huh. Let's see if he has anything else to add. So this is what you can do to ham star, break his spirit and soul. You know, my vocal coach also did not believe in me. He told me I have the voice of a baboon. With the power of technology, I was able to change my voice and fulfill my dream of becoming Europe's biggest pop star. Now all is lost. No one in the world could possibly love one such as I, and now I feel myself starting to cry. The image of you fading, fading away. Here I am calling to you, bay, bay, bay. <laughs> hey, shut that racket off. Yeah, what the heck, man? No one wants to hear that. Ahoy, honeydew! I was just doing a few laps thinking about my parents. Not the dolphins who raised me, but my actual parents who gave birth to me, you know? I don't know the full story, but apparently they dropped me in the water when I was just a baby. Do you think they're out there somewhere wondering what happened to me? Oh, sorry, you probably want to head back, huh? Just a second. They must have figured I drowned, right? You think that's why they never came looking for me? I don't know. Remains of a once great sand empire. Is that all I had to do here? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back. Ooh, a shooting star. Wowie! Well, I think I'm gonna call it a night. There's a seaweed sandwich waiting at home with my name on it. See you later, pond skater! Okay. I don't have to call me names, but whatever. Without being friends. You, you saved my life. That crab was ten seconds away from pitching my nose clean off, but I'm not safe yet. I still need to make it through the woods, and it's dark and full of freaky frogs. Will you walk back into town with me? Yeah, sure. Yes, this pool floaty will protect my fragile body from danger, and you shall protect me from myself. Okay, Roland, let's go. Oh, you're the weenie kid that everyone was like, oh, he's not gonna come to the... Huh? 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 Oh, hi, frogs. Say, this little bunny is interpreting our beautiful song, Ribbit. Am I right, boys? Interrupting. I'd say you, you're as right as rain, brother. Interrupting a frog's song is an utterly inexcusable act. Utterly, utterly inexcusable. Uh-oh, I'm getting a little upset here, fellas. I feel a deep croak rising in my belly. Only one thing I can do, and a one, and a two, and a... Okay. Thanks for walking with me. I could take it from here. Why do you look so concerned? It's just a graveyard. What, do I look like some kind of scaredy hog, baby? Yes. You, in fact, do look like a scaredy hog, baby. I just spent my entire life savings to take that apple biter to court, and what good did it did that do? A freaking app mole just... Not only faked his own death to get our trial dismissed, now he's suing me for defamation of character. He's gonna take every last penny I've got. Oh, what am I going to do? It's totally fruitless, I tell you. Fruitless! That's a funny joke. Someone ate all my mushrooms. Who could be evil enough to eat all the little babies I was guarding? 
They're not for eating, they're for loving. That really sucks, Shelly. I'm sorry. Okay, nothing there yet. We have rollerblades! Hey, stop. You can't walk here. This is property of the Kitten King. Get your smelly feet out of here. Get your smelly feet out of here. Ah, don't hurt me! Aw, rats. I scared the wrong kid. Hey, you. If you see Ham Ghost Jr., you tell him I'm looking for him, okay? You need to teach him a lesson he'll never forget. Yo, we need to talk now. Okay. So, what were you and Vagabond Mouse talking about? How do you know the Cavity Crew? Are you their newest member? Why did they let you into their game and not me? Where'd you show up from all of a sudden anyway? Did they make you go through initiation? Did you get a tattoo? Come on. Let me join the Cavity Crew too, please. This has been my ultimate lifelong dream ever since I was a baby ghost. So you see, you just gotta let me join. I've got all these dope skills and talents, dude. Like spying on people, walking through walls. And of course, the patented ham ghost switcheroo. I love spying. In fact, most of my friends are actually just people I spy on every day. Like Mrs. Ham, I watch her and Mr. Ham eating dinner every night and pretend I'm not- I'm part of their family. Yep, wait, you know them too? You know I haven't seen them around lately. This isn't good. What if they need me? I mean, I know we never actually talked face to face, but still. You wanna take along? Kinda weird, but alright. Now that I'm an official member of the Cavi Crew, I'll do whatever the lieutenant says. You lead the way. Okay. Well, that worked out. Where do they live again? I forget. This is where we wanted to be, right? Maybe not. I'm not allowed to have my uh, rollerblades when I'm partying, eh? Um, I don't think we should go into town. Last time I went there, everyone started screaming when they saw me. Okay, so clearly, we have to be here somewhere. But where? Kaka, I saw who did it. It was a big old mole. Gobbled them shrooms right up. Of course, what do I know? I'm just an old crow. Kaka. Locked up tight with a heavy duty padlock. Shoebox filled with photos labeled our trip to Turnham Sea. Maybe we go to the castle because that's where we saw Susan. Maybe. Check this out. Boo! Ah! Let us in! Help, help! 
There's a horrifying sense. There's scary ghosts out here. I don't think anyone can hear us. It's every kitten for himself. Run. You are you completely mad? Why are you not fleeing for your very life? Run! Run, I tell you! Well that worked out. Yeah, you better run if you know what's good for you. Okay, now you just stand right there and watch me. I dare you to say this isn't cool. Make sure you're watching. Three hours later. Ooh. Damn Ghost Jr.'s done it again, folks. Dad, are you watching from up there? You're proud of me, right? So, you want to know what happened in there? Well, make yourself comfortable as I weave a tale that will blow your mind. So there I was, inside the Kitten King's castle, undetected, like a cobra about to strike. Suddenly, one of the guards spotted me. I didn't scream or cry. I raised my fist to fight. Yeah, I was about to bust out the phantom puncher on him. But, turned out he was just pointing at Kit Kit because he had a piece of cat food stuck in his teeth. Then Mrs. Ham came barging into the room. She looked pretty angry. Mm -hmm. I kind of for forgot why she was angry, though. Let's see. She said something about Richard Ham and a secret folder and the king was like where was i again secret folder mrs ham started reading off all these pieces of paper and screamed i'll make sure they all find out who you rigged it so tell me what you did with my darling husband or something like that so the king told her where mr ham went Yeah, so it turns out he's been hiding up in the- Hey, wait a second. Why do we have a feeling we're not really on official Cavity Crew business? There's no way they'd care so much about something as boring as this. We should be on a heist or a high-speed car chase or something. Have you been lying to me? Are you trying to get me to haunt you until the end of time? Did you forget that I'm a ghost? That's rude. Okay, okay, I'll forgive you. Under one condition, you talk to a thievery snake and make her give me a real mission. Or else. All these people be blue balling me. I like these guys. They're chill. I'm about to be chill. Well, let's go this way. Okay. Ah, make it stop! Ha ha ha, keep it coming, pup star. No, I can't stand cheap scents. We never have anything good to eat. You'll never get away with this. My father will save me, I just know it. Good thing you're here. This is the mayor's son, dumb little guy, ain't he? Well, his dad's even dumber. Like, we've been calling him all day, but he's too senile to notice his own son's missing. How do you like that, Haginold? Someone help. Really need the ransom money to pay for a little getaway trip. But the thing is, East Hogtown ain't too safe for us wanted criminals right now. So why don't you go in our place? Here, take this. Okay. Mayor Hogsworth should be in his office in Town Hall. When he sees that, we have this yo-yo. I'm sure he'll realize that something else is missing, too. And don't try anything funny. That way we won't have to break your legs. Okay. Man, this kid is annoying. This is why we never do kidnappings. Aw, yeah. You can't stop my jams, baby. Popstar is back in action. Look out, Hogtown. The next big pop star is coming in hot. Dumpster Party Tuesdays was such a good idea. Just imagine how much better it would be if we had some music to dance to. Dumpster Party, yee-hoo. Oh, hey. Ham Ghost Jr. wants to join the Cavity Crew. You'll have to talk to Thievery Snake about that, though I don't think it's going to go over too well. The 
Spare some change? You know, I'd love to make an absolute mockery out of you. I just love it, but I won't, because that's just the kind of gentle, loving skunk I am. This creepy guy has been following us around all day. What's his deal? He keeps calling us his fellow troubled youths. Can he, like, get a life or something already? If I wanted to hang out with my dad all day, I would have followed in his footsteps and become a stupid astronaut. Ugh. Travel to space and flow around with that tyrant? I need my personal space, you know? Dude, why don't you leave us alone already? You look lame as hell in that suit and tie. Get lost, weirdo. Or at least untuck your shirt or something. Makes me sick just looking at you. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You guys are so crazy. Oh, it's you. I finally did. I dropped out of society. I'm free, baby. Life's been great so far. I even made friends with these like-minded individuals. Come at the perfect time. I was just reminiscing on the days of my youth with no one to tell my stories to. Now come a little closer. A little closer? Sorry, I was chewing on some raw garlic earlier. You know what they say? Raw garlic each day keeps the ladies away. Wait, that's not it. Anyways, what was I saying? And who are you? My doctor says I should stop letting random people in my house. Darla! Oh, where's that girl? Hey, Darla. It's me again. So, you know that new tag I was working on? I finished it. So, yeah. Also, I've been working on a sick drum solo. Maybe you can swing by sometime and check it out. Hello? Darla? You there? My violin. What am I gonna do without it? Sit down? I can sit here? I can just sit? Why would I sit here? Say, you're a grown-up, right? So can you tell me why you do the things you do? What do you mean? You know, like, never take us kids seriously? Act like you're the boss of the town and treat us like we're stupid? Well, not you. I mean, more like that mean old Mrs. Needles. Why'd you have to take away my violin? It's not fair at all. Sigh, life sucks. Give me just one reason why life's worth living. Um. Falling in love. Yuck, that's completely disgusting. When people are in love, they do the dumbest stuff, I swear. Like this one kid in my class, his name's Big Daddy. I know, it's weird, right? But that's what he wants everyone to call him. Anyway, he's always doing stupid things to try and to impress me. Hey, I just got an idea. Big Daddy can definitely help me get my violin back. I'll call him up right now. Thanks for the chat. Okay. Hey, so, uh, you talked to Darla, yeah? Okay, let's make this quick. Can't be having the fuzz on my tail. I was never here. Who's there? Take one more step and I'll fill you full of holes with my dangerously sharp needles. You youngsters have no respect for your elders. Ah, uh, how shameful of me. Oh, that girl's violin? So you're here to steal back, is that it? Maybe it's being a bit harsh. I suppose she's more talented than I was at her age. After the fire, when we lost everything, I stopped playing altogether. My mother's violin, my most prized possession. If only I could have kept at it. By now, I'd be... Just take it and go. Okay. I will, because you're rude and stupid. You're stupid. Oh my gosh! My violin! Wait, did you get- Did you help Big Daddy get this back for me? Thank you so much! Maybe being an adult isn't so bad after all. Now I can finally practice again. Munch, 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 munch. Give me a bite. 
You said you were gonna share. Man, I really hope the kid can win tomorrow. Eat, then melons will flow plentiful into Hogtown, and we won't have to hide our melon mania. Now give me that. So, uh, anyone here for Bug City? Boo, Bug City sucks. <laughs> yeah. So, I was in Bug City the other day, and you know, people over there are really different. Like, for example, people here in Hogtown say, Get off the stage! Well, yeah, they do say that sometimes. So yeah, uh, I was walking down the street in Bug City, like I was saying, and uh, this guy came up to me, and he was like, Hey, man! Then I was like, hey. Yeah, right, that never happened. You're right, I made the whole thing up. But I did it for the sake of comedy. Is that re really so wrong? I would do anything for my fans. If that's a crime, well, then I say lock me up and throw away the key. That'd be a really good time for the cops to just show up. What are you doing? Oh, what am I gonna do? I messed up big time. If I don't find that aux cable, I won't be able to listen to my Melon Milk Motel album on the ride back. We're here at the scene of the tragic incident that occurred earlier today. Yes, folks, it is here that Hamstar, the apple of Hogtown's eye, was revealed to be a complete and utter fraud. Nah. Huh. Let's see now. He's supposed to take one of these twice a day, two of these once a day, and one of these once a day. Was it two of these once a day, or one twice a day? Oh well, and extra few won't do any harm. I'll just bring him the whole bottle. My D-pad's being weird. Yes, I'll be with you in one moment. Ahem. Mrs. Hogson, Mrs. Hogson. Yes, Mayor. Mrs. Ho oh, there you are. It's about my yo-yo. Have you gotten any leads? No, sir. I've asked everyone at the retirement home, and no one has seen it in weeks. Hmm, this is more serious than I previously imagined. We'll have to put out a bounty on that yo-yo's safe return. Issue special mayor's bulletin, alerting the townsfolk that anyone who returns my missing yo-yo will be given a great reward. Mayor's bowling pins? I'll see what I can do. Now, what can I... Wait, just a moment. Is that my yo-yo? Where did you find it? Ah, Hedronald had it, eh? I trust he's doing well these days. He's been kidnapped. The kid's been napping, you say. Well, that would explain why I haven't seen him in a while. You know, he really does take after his father. Why, that reminds you of the time when... Yes, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a crisp autumn morning during my time as a student of Hogtown University. I had been napping on a bunch of... On a bench all morning, but I suddenly awoke and remembered I had somewhere to be that day. I was to compete in the first annual Hogtown Worldwide Yo-Yo Championship competition. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. In fact, they say I was born with, with a silver yo-yo in my paw. Oh, you get to control him. Well, that's fun. We're gonna pause there. We're gonna pause there. We'll come back on the next episode to do this. For next part so all right we're gonna leave that one there we didn't do a whole lot but we did make a little progress we got to spy on uh susan ham but we didn't really get any details we keep keep getting snubbed on the details so i can't really tell if we've done much of anything honestly but oh well we did get that girl's violin back that was a big concern that's nice. We got our violin back. We love that for us. 
But I'm going to leave it there for today, and we will come back and do some more of this later sometime. So if you enjoyed it, let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment. Okay? Thanks. Bye. Thank you.